Here at home, the city of Perry will bring in the new year with their seventh annual buzzer drop celebration. And that brings us to our question of the morning. So we want to know where will you be celebrating New Year's Eve tonight? At home, a party, a community event, or you might be working like Hunter and I will be. We answer now in the app. We'll keep the poll open all morning long. But our Pepper Baker joins us live from Carroll Street in Perry with everything you need to know to stay safe at tonight's event. Good morning, Pepper. What did you find out? Good morning, Aaron. Thousands of people are expected to fill the streets in Perry tonight to watch the famous buzzer drop. But there's a lot of preparations that both the city and the police department have to do every year to make sure it all runs smoothly. Perry's buzzard mascot dances alone in front of the old Perry courthouse now, but tonight there will be a huge audience. It's been a couple of thousand, so we're expecting even more this year, actually. Perry communications manager Tabitha Clark says there's some things to keep in mind if you plan on attending their seventh annual buzzer drop. A couple of things that we ask that you do not bring, which is going to be um, coolers, outside food and drinks. We're going to have plenty of that here available for purchase. Um, no fireworks. Um, no amplified sound. Most of the action will happen on Carroll and Ball Streets with live music and food trucks. Major William Phelps with the Perry Police Department says they're prepared for the crowd. We're going to uh, put um, additional blockade at those locations at the intersections to make sure that other vehicles cannot enter the event uh, site. He advises people not to bring pets and to leave bicycles and golf carts at home. Both Clark and Phelps say their biggest concern is drinking and driving. I would ask them to, to use a taxi or the Uber system uh, to get home. Um, and a third option would be to uh, use a, a designated driver. The courtesy shuttle um, will help people get home at night that live within the city limits. It begins at 10 o'clock um, and it's kind of an extra service that Perry provides um, to help our citizens stay safe while celebrating at the same time. Clark says they'll set up a sign for the shuttle on Jernigan Street near their city of Perry tent. But as for me, I'll be spending New Year's Eve at a party in Atlanta. <laughs> Live in Perry, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. I am jealous of you, Pepper, but thank you for all of that information down in Perry. Major Phelps says there hasn't been any major disruptions at past year's events. They will have about eight policemen patrolling downtown tonight. And in our question of the morning right now, it looks like about 8% of you will be joining Pepper at some type of party, but 80% will be like Hunter and I at home for New Year's Eve. And then about five will also join us at work about two hours later. That's where you'll find Hunter and I. But if you're not headed to Perry, there is no worry. Central Georgia has plenty of ways to welcome 2020. Dublin will celebrate the new year with a lighted shamrock drop in Bicentennial Plaza at midnight. The Emerald City will have a series of events for the family kicking off at 6 p.m. And if you're in Forsyth, the Forsythia Ball drops at 9 p.m. The entire family is invited to help the Forsyth Fire Department ring in the new year. You can bring your chairs, blankets, and dancing shoes, but they are asking you to leave your pets at home. Also, Fort Valley's Peach Cobbler drop is like no other. That sounds like a drop I need to be at. You can celebrate the new year in downtown Fort Valley with the entire family starting at 8 p.m. There will be carriage and train rides, live music, and lots of photo ops. And for the full list of events, look, and ways that you can celebrate 2020, just head on over to 13WMAZ.com.